guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Platinum Rush, the brand new fragrance from Players Hilton, and this is her 24th fragrance, 25th kind of, 27th, 20, it depends on how you count Paris Hilton's line, but marketed as her 24th fragrance. Um, so this fragrance technically isn't even out yet. Um, I happened to stumble upon it. This video is not at all sponsored. All that fun junk that normal YouTubers say because I'm not a normal YouTuber. I just do this for fun. Oh my goodness. But anyway, so, okay, Platinum Rush Paris Sultan, the 24th fragrance. Um, slip cover again on the box, this time a little bit different. Again, they used, I don't even know, okay, I was going to say, does her foot continue over? No. Her foot just gets cut off on the edge of the box right there. But um, they use the same slip cutter uh, photo shoot for Gold Rush and Rose Rush. Um, they just chose a different dress design and photoshopped the dress to make it match Platinum Rush. So the bottle looks like this this time. And um, so I got the one ounce here, which this box is for the one ounce. Um, and then I do have the full size bottle, but it doesn't have a box, it's just a tester. Um, I found online without a box, so I grabbed it while I could. Um, this fragrance is very different from anything that Paris has created, um, and I really like that, but we'll dive more of that into a second. First off, the promo picture for this image, for this perfume, which you guys saw already, um, first off, Paris Hilton liked my picture, commented on it, and now follows me on Instagram, holy bejesus, based off of that picture, I, uh, that was at the beginning of this video, but there's literally glitter all over my house like I don't know if I can get this look at this there's freaking glitter everywhere in my house right now my camera does not want to focus everywhere I use two huge tubs of glitter to make those roses for that photo shoot and oh my Jesus there's glitter everywhere if I keep looking over here there's Mondo over here um but anyway so Platinum Rush is her 24th fragrance and the third female installment in the Gold Rush series and the fourth installment following Gold Rush Man um, last year we had Rose Rush, then we had Gold Rush Man and Gold Rush, um, which Gold Rush and Rose Rush are right here. It's the same bottle design that we used for the other ones, except for it is silver. Um, again, there was a controversy last year with this bottle, if you guys remember that. Go back and check out that review. Otherwise, new one, this time we have the silver glitter. I'm just going to set these guys here. Um, silver glitter here, fading down the bottle, um, opening up to a clear bottle. Um, and the liquid itself is clear. Um, it does not appear to be at all tinted in any way. Um, it's just kind of crystal clear. Um, top up here, it's just, it does say Platinum Rush on the neck of the bottle. Paris Hilton, and then you've got the silver, um, cap with the black on the inside. This one is very sophisticated for her. It's definitely more grown up. And almost could be unisex. I, when I first smelled this, um, I didn't have notes for it until a couple days ago. Um... So I've been wearing this for a few days without even having notes for it, and I have literally gotten so many compliments. I wore this to work, and one of my coworkers, like, I didn't even tell them I was wearing anything. I kind of just sprayed something, sprayed this on before I went into work, um, just to see how it would wear so I could, you know, give it for you guys for a review. And she was, like, obsessed with this fragrance. She's like, what, what is that? Where's, where'd you get it from? Where can I get it? It literally smells amazing. Okay, guys, sorry. My, like memory card got full I thought the battery died but it didn't anyway so I've gotten a lot of compliments around this and it smells freaking amazing like it is so different for a pear salt and fragrance um, normally hers are either super crisp on like you get into like Paris and like uh, with love and they're all very crisp fragrances and then you've got like can can and some of her are more fruity ones and then you've got stuff like gold rush which is like sweet kind of like how uh, Passport Paris is. This one is very different from all those. It's got a floral edge to it, but it's also got like a fruity opening, but it's also kind of unisex and masculine and sophisticated and expensive smelling. And I really, really, really like this one. Like I can imagine, okay, show you how much I like this one. I got this, I don't even know how, how long ago, but I have not had this for very long and I don't even know if I can get, ooh, cell phone flashlight so i have had this for a few few days a couple days oh oh we'll say about a little over a week and my roommates also have liked this one i've already put that much of a dent into this fragrance i mean granted it's a 30 milliliter so that much 
goes quickly, but still, like, out of the full bottle. I've used quite a bit of this. It's just such a great fragrance. I just douse myself in it, and it lasts for hours. So, it's such, like, such a great, 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 great fragrance. Seriously. Um, I had described this to one of my friends as smelling like a magazine, and, like, smelling like when you first, like, rip open, like, an expensive, like, Chanel, Dior, any of those, like, super expensive brands, like, when you rip open those magazine samples, that gluey, like, the smell of the glue and just that generic, um, scent that all of them have, like, not generic isn't bad, but, like, all magazine samples have that kind of same, similar scent until you actually get to the perfume and the perfume starts to oxidize. This literally smells like an expensive perfume, mag like, sample from a magazine. It's so, like, it's addicting. Like, you want to wear it more and more and more. And I just, I really, really, really like this one. So, the top notes of this one are Asian pear, red apple, and French mango. Middle notes are green florals, mugget flower, and sunburst magnolia. With base notes of cashmere, can we talk? Cashmere musk, sheer patchouli, and liquid amber. Excuse me. This scent like I said, it's so good. When it first opens up, you do get, like, let me grab a tester real quick. You do get just kind of like a fruity opening. And I would say probably the pear is a, pear and mango are kind of the most in there, but you do get the apple kind of backing it. But it's definitely those florals from the heart that definitely come out and let you know from the very beginning that they're here. It isn't a super green fragrance with it having those green florals in there. It doesn't make it super green at all, like it, at all. Um, you just get a very floral opening, or floral like middle, but that very, very beginning, you get the pear, you get the mango, and the apple is there. You can smell it, but it's not the most prominent fruit in the beginning. It's a very, like I said, mature and almost unisex scent because those florals in the heart are coming out so much in the beginning that it just smells very similar from the very beginning through the fragrance. And it is really when it starts to dry down that you really do start to notice the difference in this fragrance. But that being said, it still does have a fruity opening. Um, the fruity opening, it's very fresh. It's very um, crisp, but still, like I said, mature and uh, n not super mature and being like a grandma floral at all. This definitely is not a grandma floral. I definitely think this is for someone in their 20-somethings to, you know, 45 range. I definitely think this is something that Paris herself would wear. It is such a um, mature, easygoing fragrance that this definitely could be someone's signature fragrance. The full, that a little bit of fruitiness that you get from the opening does start to dry down um, rather quickly and disappears into the heart and it more kind of just morphs into the heart than completely disappears. It isn't really until you're about a half hour into the fragrance or so that the base really starts to come out that the opening really starts to disappear. When that uh, base comes in with the liquid amber, the patchouli, and the cashmere musk, like you definitely get a warm, like it's got a very warm base and it's a very sexy base. And the fragrance starts to warm up a little bit as it starts to dry down and become a very like rich, expensive, sophisticated fragrance. Lasting power, I get this about eight hours on my skin, honestly. Even longer sometimes, depending like if I just, just shower and I spray this on, I can still smell it when I wake up nine, 10, 12 hours later or however long like I remember to smell it on my skin. It's such a great, great fragrance and I'm going to reiterate that a thousand times because I this is probably my favorite Paris Hilton fragrance now just because it is so different from anything she's created and so different from anything in my personal collection. Like I said, it launch, it isn't out yet. It will launch, I believe, July 17th. I could be wrong, July 17th or 19th. Let me go online really quick and see if we can find out exactly when it launches because I'm, I don't want to give you wrong information. Um, let's go to Paris. July 17th, so I was right. Um, Perfume Mania, which is where all her fragrances go. Um, definitely think you guys should buy this one. It's a really, really good one. Uh, 
like I said, probably my favorite Paris Hilton fragrance, and we'll see... I'm gonna do Paris Hilton on the Knockout series here relatively soon. We'll see where sh where Platinum Rush lands in the series of all the Paris Hilton fragrances. Because I had to smell all of them and order them all together, but I'm definitely thinking this is gonna be up there on the top. So, we'll see. Spoiler, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. anyway, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. There is my review of Paris Hilton's Platinum Rush. As you guys, um, I, I'm finally back bringing you guys reviews. I'll be back more. Be on the lookout because I'm doing a collaboration with somebody else. I'm not telling you who, but that video should be up. I don't know when. I have to film my part still, so anyway. As you guys, uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.